at the door. Now bust it open, let me see you get loose. It's going down for real. This is the suspension overview of the front end. We'll start with the front and go to the rear. So what I had to do, he said in my other video, um, was make the upper control arms. Not an easy task. A lot of triple, triple measuring and, and then checking everything ten times. So I ended up using the factory ball joint. Um, factory tie rods, factory hub and assembly. And I had to lathe, put these on the lathe and, and mill them down so it actually flat, fitted inside the, um, the, the big rotors that I've got. So what I had to do with the, the lower control arm was weld a, a, mount, a mount on here with two tabs to bolt this to because it's the, the coilovers are, are fully adjustable. And wind them up and down. Um, I also put two tabs here to support the upper control arm. Now there was a few things that I had to do um, which was match this pitch of the control arm to the bottom one so that they're both the same angle. I uh, did that with an angle finder and, and made that work. Not too difficult but not too hard. Um, not too easy either. Um, so that was one thing I had to, to anyone who's going to do it, that's one thing you want to look at. Um, and as you can see in the back here, um, I cut the original mount off and then made a plate that went all the way up inside and I gusset to support the shock mount. Um, anyone doing this, I would recommend getting 8 inch shocks, not the 13 inch ones that I've got. They're just a little bit too long. Uh, would have worked better on the other side where the steering rack is. Uh, not too hard, but I'd put it probably in the mediocre. It's a headache. So, anyone um, attempting it out there, at least you can see what I've done, how I've done it. Um, and it's going to work. I've tested it. You can, you'll see in the video. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll know when we get it on the track and see what it's going to do. Now, we'll shoot down the back. <laughs> I got the good one. Alright. Give me a hard time. So I've taken the fuel cell out because I'm welding it up at the moment. <clears throat> Anyone on Instagram will see me at um, my welds on the on the cap. So I've got I've notched the chassis, as you would have seen, and then I put in this bar as the engineer recommended, which will help any twisting of the chassis. Uh, also put this in, which is a cross brace for the triangulated full link so that actually works as a force to stop that spreading out I might just add a little another gusset on the back side of that just so it has a bit of strength because um, it's basically just that tab that's holding it nothing else um, he was really happy with the, the layout and the bracketry the engineers loved it so that was awesome um, everything had to be double welded so both sides so you can do this side of the bracket you have to do that side etc etc um, ah. So the bottom, this is my sway bar, and it will be mounted like so. I've just got to cut those tabs off, and it will be mounted like that. 
that's really got to help it rail um, once it get gets the car running. Um, so what that will do is as the car rolls around, so that's the vehicle and that's your live axle, it's gonna it's gonna struggle um, if I didn't put it in. So it would be just like a little bit woo 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 it's relying on the um only on the suspension. Now with the sway bar, it's only gonna if as one wheel comes up the other one's gonna push it down. So it's it's yeah it's really stable, really really good design. Probably the best part of this whole rear end um, is adding the sway bar in. The coilover is going to make a hell of a difference, but the sway bar is really going to help me um, through the cornering. So hopefully this car just absolutely sticks and rails everywhere. Um, now the suspension's pretty much 95%. I've just got to do those tabs. Um, with the front sway bar, I just have to um, remount it because I moved it from the front to the rear of the lower control arm, so I just have to re-drill and touch some, some holes there. I'm finishing up my tank now, at the moment it's sitting on the bench, and um, yeah, the rear discs on these, there's a guy that sells a kit on eBay, it's for an R31 rear caliper, they're not the best brakes, but they do work. Same as the EB ones that I got, I got them for free, um, POS, they're a cable handbrake, which is what I wanted. Um, I've just got the gearbox to assemble, which is sitting on the floor, it's ready to go, and the motor. So it's really, really, really close to wiring everything up and plumbing everything back in and um, getting it running. So probably in the next couple of weeks, guys, you'll see it all out, doing little skids out in the road. So it's only a matter of time and I, um, just wanted to say a big thank you to all the subscribers. Um, started off with only a few and now I've got a, I don't know, 30 something. So, yeah, keep it up. Um, yeah, smash that like button and uh, a lot more to come. You! <laughs>